We are presenting uh, foot reflexology socks that are very beneficial for uh, general well-being, for improving circulation, and to release endorphins from the system. So the way it works, we are starting with the general relaxation techniques. We do both sides, left and right, and a little on the heel, side to side. And actually, um, reflexology is a very interesting technique. It's stemming uh, historically from uh, ancient Egypt. So the, the history is in Egypt and China and India, and that's where it started. And today it can be used um, with a lot of uh, scientific evidence. And what we want to do is just do some little pressure on the upper areas, which say on the socks, the eyes. This improves circulation to the eye areas. And we also want to do it on the other side. We can actually move around the socks just to make them more straight. And we can go lower to where it says lungs. On the lung, we press. And so with the other side, we press on the lung area. For those who have some shoulder strain, we want to do some work on the shoulders area. And same on the other side. And we have the liver, it's a very large area center of the foot. The pressure should be firm but not too strong and not too weak. Next we have different reflexes for the kidney, the heart, and we just want to do it gently. We don't, uh, we don't want to work too hard when somebody has a medical condition. Of course they have to see a physician first. And for Insomnia conditions, we can actually do a little work on the bottom, it's also good for digestion. And in general, the toe area represents the head, the ball of the foot area represents the chest, the arch area represents the belly, and the heel represents the pelvis. So again, we can always play with the socks a little and stretch them to the right size, and we can do some more techniques of relaxation next technique will be a little more squeezing of the metatarsal. So we place one hand on the dorsal part and one hand in front and we just wave like in the ocean, gently. This is very relaxing for the chest area and circulation. Next thing we can do, we can actually um, look at the the inner side of each foot, this is the spine area, and we can just slide gently like a caterpillar all the way through, and this brings a lot of relief to the spine area. So again, we improve circulation, we release endorphins, which uh, release pain and decrease pain, and we also improve general well-being by working on the socks. So take your time, this can take a minute, this can take five minutes. It's great for family, for couples. It's great to improve relationship. It's great to uh, help each other. It's just nice to know that if you have a headache, you can work on the head area. If you have a um, digestive problem, you can work on the digestive area. And just try to follow the marks. It's okay to go off the marks because all the dotted area is still body parts. It's just that use your imagination, uh, the marks are just for general guidelines and slowly you'll feel that you're actually getting a, a grip of the right things to do. Make sure you work left and right in a balanced area. If you hesitate, just keep doing some relaxation techniques. The secret is to keep a flow of this work, it's very very relaxing and again if we look at both um, souls, we see the reflexes, we see points to work on, and we don't want to work too hard, not too weak, we just want to press on the general areas, and ideally we should work on all the points that are marked, and then we can just go a little beyond them, and just give a general work, any direction works. Um, the rule of thumb is that if the person needs to be relaxed, it's better to work down 
the direction would be from top down. The person needs to be a little uplifted and energized. You can work more upwards. And this concludes our socks um, by Lynn. And uh, they, they are fun and they are very uh, nice tool to work with to improve well-being and health. Thank you.